guys, it's Test Drive time again. This is Nick in Hendersonville, Tennessee at Maple Motors. If you haven't checked us out, go to maplemotors.com. We are financing and shipping on all these vehicles. And what we do is full test drives going over the flaws. This is a 1972 Ford Mach 1 Mustang with a 302 under the hood. You got power steering, power brakes. Super clean motor and engine bay. Beautiful paint job. This one's been sitting in our showroom. Dual exhaust out the back. Be sure to hit subscribe and share this video. I do have detailed pictures on all of our inventory and of course it's updated every single Monday with new rides. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Well, the buzzer works. The only thing I see in this one so far is the dash pad. Somebody wrapped it and they didn't get it super tight. I call that a uh, mechanics dash pad. <laughs> And the mirror seems real low on this one. I feel like I should have mounted it way up higher, but. Headliner. It actually looks pretty good. There's a spot right here. Dash pad. I mean, uh, deck pad back here looks okay. Newer carpet. Got my bag, that's full of gear. That's all the stuff that I use to make these videos for you start her up now she starts up easy little gas gauge we need to stop and get a little bit of fuel it looks like we're right on E right now it's slowly coming up actually I guess uh, since we just started it I'll let you know what it finally ends up on engine temperature is up pressure gauge moves but it's very slow I don't know how accurate it actually is some of these gauges are moving real slow let me shut the door since this buzzer there we go show you the mileage radio is on and not playing oh, wait wait maybe I should put it on a channel first no I hear a little bit of static but it's not playing any music there blower motor Do not think the blower motor is working on this one. Glove box. She's empty. Wipers. Yeah, they work. Turn signals. Left and right side are working pretty good. That looks good. Okay, so we got half a tank of fuel. We do not have to stop and get fuel today. I think we're good to go. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? We're about to try it out. It does work. It's time to hit the road, see what else we can find. Okay guys, working on this seat belt. Get it to re feedback. Might not. There it goes. All right, just have to play with it a little bit. Reverse. This is the first time I've driven this rod. Good shift. the steering wheel it does fade to the left see it pulling me to the fast lane it was doing that pretty good so it's got a good left pull on it what happens when I hit the brakes they're touchy they feel great back in our throttle here kick down so up. seems pretty accurate. So 
Same with the tack, it is working. Back in our brakes. Let's hope we can make this light. This one is running pretty good. We got a good engine temperature. Oil pressure gauge is showing on the halfway mark now. I think it's just a slow gauge. Our gas gauge is obviously half a tank now. It's also a slow gauge. And I do believe this is supposed to be mounted higher, but the way the back window is on this car, I think that's why they mounted it here. It, it's almost perfect. I feel like if it was mounted higher, you really couldn't see much out. That's uh, kind of nifty the way they did that. And I am getting used to it. You can see right up under it. So it's not like it's a big blind spot. You can see everything on the road. I guess I should have raced the Honda. to the left. If I let go of that steering wheel, we're going to get dragged over to the left there. What we're going to do next is I'm going to light up the undercarriage. We're going to get some outside shots and uh, then we'll go to picking out the flaws on this video. And again, the reason for doing that is to show you every little issue that I can find on this car so you know what you're getting before you get here. It's just like me going out and looking at a car for you. I'm going to try not to miss anything. Um, basically, if I miss something, I get in trouble in the office. That's my job is to pick out the flaws for you. So, so that you're happy when you get here. A lot of people are buying cars from us and just shipping them to the house because of these videos as well. And it just works. I can tell you on this one, this car sits in our showroom. Other than that left pull and this dash pad, we're good. And honestly, I could get over the dash pad, but if I was looking at it every day, I'd probably just order one. Because <laughs> the wrap job on this is just a little wrinkly. Unless you can get your uh, lo local interior guy to straighten that out. But I get it, some, some people want to try this stuff at home. But it doesn't always work out. All right, guys, we're uh, heading into Hendersonville traffic now, busier part of town. So coming up next is going to be the outside shots. I've got a place in mind. I had to go to the side of town anyways. So stick around, I'll be back.
Okay, so I have noticed after driving it a little while, it's got a little bit of a sporadic idle. It's only at idle. When you put it in gear, don't even notice it, but right now it's jumping from 700 to 1100 pretty sporadically. You can see it on the RPM gauge there. All right, now we're gonna head on back to the lot. Like I've ever drove by in this building. <clears throat> Long time ago, this used to be a uh, local spot to hang out. Now it's Pizza Ranch. <laughs> and of course, they got closed down because the tornado ripped their sign down. And I think it caused a lot of damage to all the buildings around here. But I seen News Channel 2 over here, and it was a month ago that all this happened. And they were just here today while I was doing this video. here it's running nice and smooth going down the road the only thing I've seen is at idle and I'm gonna two foot it because I don't want it to uh, decide to cut off on me at the red light right now what I mean by two foot is I just barely put my foot on the gas and keep that idle from dropping. Yeah, it's definitely, as soon as it gets down to idle range, it's kind of surging. I don't know why right now. It wasn't doing that when I first left. Could have been a vacuum. May have a vacuum leak somewhere. Also notice this tire is low on air pressure right now and that could be why we're pulling so hard to the left I'm gonna say it's about 10 pounds lighter than this side I really noticed when I did the walk around when I was doing the walk around looking at everything up close uh, looking for chips and scratches and all that just a minute ago which I'm putting out at the end of the video so stick around for that I just noticed it was a little low. I tell you what, when we left, there was no traffic, but it all came out now. About 30, 45 minutes later, this town looks like rush hour again. Guys, stick around, picking out the flaws is coming up next. I got plenty more videos coming your way. Okay, it's time to walk this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. Looking for chips, scratches, rust, bondo, whatever it is. Let's go ahead and get started. Little spots here on the front bumper that are chipped up. See them on that edge. light scuff up here little chips that have been touched up spot there picked up a little bit of dirt in the parking lot here Got a couple chips. Like 
and scratch mark there chips here like scuff in the paint there that should come out spot here it might not Pitting on the door handle. Scuff in the back here. Front windshield looks pretty good. It's not bad. Coming around to the back, back bumper on this one, little ding on the side there. Light scuff, pitting on the tailpipe, light scratch there, scuff on the side hitting on these bumpers. Sure looks like somebody put a thick layer of protection on this lower portion here, which I think is a great idea. That way if any water gets any here, in here, it doesn't start rusting on you. And it makes it last a lot longer. So if you put it on there when you first get them, you're in good shape. And a lot of people say, oh, it's hiding something. I do see a little bit of marks there, but that looks like welds to me. Of course, we bought it like that. Package tray is clean. But yeah, putting a barrier on there when it is clean is a good idea. It's not a bad thing at all. It's kind of like wearing gloves. Keep your hands clean. Little spot there.
Been down this side. Little bubble there in the back corner. Scuff here. Just some dirt I picked up. There's a light scratch there. It's hard not to pick up dust and dirt, especially around here since this tornadoes came through town. Little scuffs, chips. Light scratches on the door. Chips there. Hitting on your door handle. <clears throat> Little scuff here. Light scuff. And a lot of this stuff's going to come out. These little light scuffs with some wax. Honestly, not even a speed buff will take it out. Could have been from something dirty on the towel or walking by the car and bumping into it. Yeah, there's plenty, plenty of uh, signs that a tornado came through here. This area right here got hit directly. You can see the roof separated. The roof on the back side of this building is completely gone. The back wall caved in, side wall caved in. News Channel 2, when I pulled in here to do these videos, was standing over there. And this is weeks later. This is a month later. Uh, that building there is just totally, all three of those need to be demolished. Campers destroyed. It's sad. It's still still a mess over here. All right, let's go ahead and check out the interior. Bottom of this door, you can see strands are kind of coming off on the carpet. Little scuffs. Carpet in this one, not too bad. <coughs> Jumping off in the interior. The old buzzer. Now this one's got a little bit of a surge on, on idle, and see it? It didn't do that until the, towards the end of the video here. Yeah, it's jumping around. A 
course, driving down the road, I didn't have any issues. Just put her in gear, driving down the road. It's not doing any of that, it's running nice and smooth. But at idle here, jumping around, so. Almost sound like it was gonna cut out there for a second. Hood. Coming on down with it. Comes down easy. Shuts easy. Got some marks here. Touch up mark. Scuffs. All right, guys, don't forget there's detailed pictures financed and shipping at maplemotors.com. Go check that out on the website. I'm gonna head on back to the lot. I've got, what, four or five more cars to do for y'all this week. I've actually been out for the last couple days under the weather. I'm feeling much, much better now. Just kind of clearing up. And a lot of the office, they also caught it as well, whatever it was. It was a cold, lasted about a day. So I just took an extra day off just to make sure. You know, you don't want to come back and get more people sick, so. Either way, detail pictures, financing, and shipping, maplemotors.com. I uh, do thank you for watching. And to help us out, share, like, and subscribe. All right, I'll see you later.